If you want to make a burger logo like this, or maybe an app logo, what about creating a cute mascot logo like this finance owl, or creating a single letter logo in this style, or this, or this? You want it geometric or emblem? What about a financial logo? Well, that's what I'm going to show you today. There are some bad things you can do that makes them look horrible, and some quick tips that will save you hours so you can get your perfect logo right immediately i'm also going to show you how to remove the text so it looks perfect right away because mid journey ain't that good at text and how to remove the background so you can use it directly on your website whichever color is in the background mid journey makes amazing ai generated logos that you can make very easily it takes literally no time and the quality is just i seriously can't get enough so the first step is to go to the mid journey server now i actually don't recommend going in here because there you have to scroll through a bunch of people's prompts so what i recommend is creating your own channel like for example join my discord ai mate in the description down below and what you can do is just click on the mid journey bot and click on add to server so just make your own server and add it to ai mate that way you can have your own private server to talk with it without having to scroll up and down now the next step is to write imagine and we're going to start with how to make a logo for a restaurant so i'm going to write logo design for a burger restaurant called smash burger and i like add Adding these at the end which are minimalist vector flat things like that and let's just see what happens there first of all mid journey is not so good with text and I'm gonna share how you can fix that later in this video also I'm gonna share all these different styles that you can use there's so many variations and I think that's amazing that you can create all of these already we got some great burger designs here like for example booster let me show you how it looks like without the minimalist vector and flat oh my god do you want to go to suha's later so let me show you some other restaurant designs here is a logo design for a mexican restaurant called taco me home and here is a walk restaurant called walk me hard yeah maybe not <laughs> now i want to show you if you want to make for example a app logo i'm gonna write app logo for ios for a mountain hiking app here are the results for the mountain hiking app it really turns out well like look at this one for example beautiful this one was app logo for ios for a daily habit tracker app which turns out so good let's do a little bit more and here we got a burger ios app i'm also going to show you how to do mascot logos and now a word from our sponsors here's how to sell ai printables with no skills this doesn't take a lot of time ai does most of the work this is one of the top ways to make money with ai that i would personally do step number one go to kittle.com because this platform allows you to make the signs you can sell on Etsy really simply so just click on try kittle for free now that you're on the inside you can see all the logos labels t-shirts posters and cool designs you can use and you can even get more inspiration by looking at the home page step number two just click on new project since we're on a blank canvas the first thing that we can do is check out the templates or what I like to do just click on kittle AI now I kind of know what I want, so I'm just gonna describe it as a prompt. So I want the Viking with the ax chopping wood. And here you can see that the styles really help if you want something specific. This is something that other image creation softwares don't have. Like for example, selling patterns on Etsy is very popular. We're gonna click on the detailed drawing clip art style and generate. Immediately we got a banger. I love this design. So the next step, just click on mock-up and here you can place it on a t-shirt, a bag, even you can place it on a pillow and see how it looks like. My favorite is by far the streetwear designs. Go to kittle.com and try it for free or check the link in the description to start your AI printables journey. Thanks to Kittle for sponsoring this part of the video. I'm gonna show you different styles in a minute and different ways to switch these around to get even more creative with it. But I just gotta show you the base line right so here is a mascot logo of cute cookie monster eating a cookie this could easily be a logo for a cookie company this is a mascot logo of a bird doing taxes app logo so did you ever hear about that here we also got the money saving owl app business and this is the same when i just add minimalistic vector flat at the end just to show you the difference now i'm going to show you the single letter logo so mid journey is not good at writing all 
of the text, but a single letter is perfectly fine. And this is where I'm also gonna teach you about styles. So if I'm gonna write single letter logo of an A, and we just press enter on that, you can then ask ChatGPT about styles. So minimalist, vintage, hand-drawn, geometric, abstract, letter mark, emblem. And what you can do is easily copy one of these. And as you can see, we got this single letter logo here looking amazing. We can write the exact same prompt, but add in the style of, and then all of these will be different types of prompts. Like for example, letter mark. Let me do all of them for you to show you the difference here. As you can see, we started off here. This is a letter mark style. This is the minimalist style. This is in the style of vintage, which absolutely looks gorgeous. This is the style of hand drawn. This is the geometric style. Look at this. Wow. This is in the style of emblem. And this is the style of abstract. So you can see we can get wildly different styles just adding in the style of at the end. So there's three more logo designs I wanna show you. Web design and technology, finance and banking, and fashion logo. So stick with me here. And on top of that, I'm gonna show you how to actually make the lettering look good at the end to make sure that you can actually use this for your business, for your own project. So now using what you learned, we can now say imagine, and we can use the prompt logo design of a banking, let's see the bank company, let's try in the style of geometric. Usually bank designs are very flat. They're very, you know, suit and tie, minimalist vector. I think this design here is one of the best ones we've seen so far. Look at the top left too, wow. Let's try the minimalistic. Let's be a little bit more realistic with a name here called Capital Finance Group in the style of minimalistic. You can see the exact same type of logos that you expect to see from these types of companies. Here as well in the style of letter mark, it really understands the difference between these logos. And the next trick I wanna show you, instead of saying in the style of and then the style, you can actually do people that are famous. So when we ask ChatGPT about famous logo makers, you get, for example, Paul Rand, Milton Glaser, Saul Bass, Massimo Vignelli. So if we, for example, do Milton Glaser here, and I'll show you some logos from him in a minute, and then we try to create a fashion company, you can see that we get inspiration from these famous people. I'm also gonna do some other ones right off the bat so you don't have to wait. Let's do three right away. So you can see Milton Glaser here and his logos are on the right and on the left we got our mid journey prompt. You got some logos from Herbie here and you can see clearly that the style of text here and the font is emulated in our logo as well. And the Linden Leader, the one that created FedEx logo, doesn't look as similar. Let me actually test something real quick. So I'm gonna try to copy Rob Janoff and write Imagine. Make a logo in the style of Rob Janoff. And we're gonna test even more here as well. Like the Air Jordan logo designer. Yeah, that definitely doesn't work. It doesn't have enough context to really understand what famous logo we're talking about. Like the Coca-Cola, let's try one more. Like a design for the company called Olka Dola in the style of Frank Mason Robinson. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not trying to make a Coca-Cola ripoff that you'll find in Thailand. So we really made some amazing logos here. Now, how do you actually turn it into text? So you can, for example, have this burger and write the things that you want to have in here. So I'm gonna up scale this taco logo right here number three i'm gonna click on web and i'll click on save with prompt i'm also gonna get another one for example the finance one which one do we like the most this one probably so number three i'm gonna upscale that i'll click on the web and we're gonna download that as well the next step is to go to photopia.com this is like a free photoshop alternative and don't be scared, it's very simple to use. All you need to do is click the spot healing brush and then I'll make the size a little bit bigger in the top left and just like that, I'll click on the layers icon in the top right and click on the background. Here, I'm just gonna drag over this entire text right here doing one title at a time. You don't wanna do all of this right at the 
same time and then you let go of the mouse and it doesn't turn out perfect the first time but we're gonna try once more going over it gonna go down here as well and just like that let go of the mouse it's getting better and better now we're gonna try all of this text just like that and we're almost finished with removing the text isn't that amazing? We're gonna continue going through the bottom here. And just like that, we have no text on the image. Now I'm actually gonna drag a new one in here because I wanna check the text. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the type tool and I'm gonna start writing something that looks like this. So I'm gonna la panier, shift enter and gain at the bottom. I'm gonna make the size a little bit bigger. I'm gonna click on Control A. I'm gonna select everything and then make it a little bit bigger so we can see it a little bit better. And I'm also gonna click on this box here and make it white. That way we can see the logo clearly. So I'm gonna write gain here as well. I'm gonna center it in the top. And now all we need to do is match the font. So I'm gonna click on the top left. I have Montserrat selected but now I'm gonna find a font that looks kind of similar. So right off the bat, we got a font that is very similar. So I think we're just gonna use the first one we found there and we're gonna make it just a little bit smaller, it looks like. I'm also gonna double click on it, click on the character, and then I'm gonna take the leading, click on the left of it, and this will make it, as you can see, put the gain a little bit more up, make sure we have the right spacing. Now we're just gonna write Capital Finance Group. I'm gonna put the tracking a little bit further apart from each other. And now I'm gonna go over to the Layers tab again. I'm gonna hide the one that doesn't have any text on it. I really have no idea what it's supposed to say in the top here. Let's just say quality, sins, and then number. Make it a lot smaller and maybe add something like premium at the bottom. Premium club, make it a little bit bigger here. And then let's hide this. And just like that, we got the logo. There's one more step here if you want to go all out, which is to add this silver kind of embossing. And all you need to do there is click on this, double click on it. Then just click on bevel and emboss. You can click on contour. So I'm really just playing around with the settings here with the depth and the size. You can see here when we change the angle, that's really the key here. So I'm gonna put mine at like 0% here. All you need to do is add a color overlay and I just added a gray here because the lower left hand corner is gray. Then I'm gonna add a bevel and emboss and a contour that helps basically get this type of feel here. You can probably see it now. You can soften it, you can make it harder as you can see here. And I wanna put the angle on 18, just click on okay. And then you can see that it kinda gets this feel to it. And there's obviously a lot more you can do. Then you just copy layer style, copy here, and then just paste it onto the other ones as well. Paste and paste. That way it looks a little bit silver and bada bing bada boom. The exact same goes with the tacos. I'm gonna increase the size here, change the font to something that looks a little bit like it. This is definitely not the same style, but you can see me doing this. For this one, since the background is very similar to each other, you can just click on this color in the bottom. Then we can click on one of these white-ish colors. We're gonna make the size of it bigger and we're just gonna rasterize and we're just gonna draw over it. And then we got Taco Me Home. Now I wanna give you one quick last tip and that is, for example, this one here would be very hard to remove the background. But if you have logos that are easy such as this or maybe like this, it's very easy to remove the background. So you can put it, for example, on top of your website or something like this, just go to removal.ai and you can see I did it already on this one. If I try to do it with the owl image, let me show you right now. I'm just dragging it straight in here and the AI will do its magic. And just like that, it made a perfect removal of the background. 
I can download this and put it directly on top of here, for example, without that annoying white box. Now, if you like this tutorial, make sure you join our AI Mate Discord down below if you want to automate income with AI. Also, if you're falling in love with Midjourney, I really recommend checking out this. But that's it. Peace.